It is National Nurses Week, a time to recognize all of the hard work that nurses do every day. 1300 Sides' Elena Holland tells us the story of two West Michigan nurses who have been through decades of the career together. Brings back a lot of memories. Pulled out of a tucked away box. This is my graduation picture uh, from 1979. Artifacts of long careers. Oh boy. <laughs> I was 21. Nancy Roberts and Sue Bailey. Do you remember how to do it? Oh yeah. Pin on their nursing caps. You don't forget these things. They haven't worn since 1979. <laughs> okay, you're good. How about me? It's kind of a bad part. But the life they signify. When we were in college, we were all in front of the mirror in the morning putting our cats on. Remains. I feel proud. You yeah. Know, there there yeah. was a lot of hard work that went into it. After 44 years, Nancy and Sue are packing up their caps for good and retiring. What I didn't realize on this day of graduation, I, I really was a young, inexperienced nurse. What I didn't realize then, what I realize now, wow, what a career. And this like most things, <laughs> they're doing it by each other's side. We went to nursing school together. In 1976, they started at Butterworth School of Nursing. I had a car and <laughs> I did. Um, <laughs> they became friends over the long weekend drives home. Oh my, oh, yes. yes. <laughs> oh, he had a lot of good times at Butterworth School of <laughs> Nursing dorm. After graduation, they each met their future husbands and stayed in Grand Rapids at Butterworth Hospital. We both um, chose labor and delivery. I just think the joy that you feel with a um, parent in the birthing room, whether it's in the cesarean room, the birthing room, when that baby's born, there's nothing like it. Through all the good, years of welcoming babies into the world. Well, nursing isn't for wimps, that's for sure. And the hard. You do have to have a lot of strength because there's times that, you know, I would come home from work and cry. But so nurses see. wear a lot of hats. Nancy and Sue then spent years teaching prenatal classes at Spectrum Health. Sue started her own doula business and Nancy put postpartum depression in the spotlight. When people need you the most, you know, you're there for them. And um, it's, it's an honor. Now Sue retired in February and Nancy plans to in the fall. I wouldn't take back a thing. Me either. Packing up the memories with time to make new ones together. Even though we're kind of hanging up our hats, we're not hanging up our friendship. So mm -hmm. that's priceless. Elena Holland, 13 on your side.